Victoria's Vineyard and Citrus Centre, Mildura, a part of the national network of ABC television. Victoria's Vineyard and Citrus Centre, Mildura, a part of the national network of ABC television. Queensland's City of the Barrier Reef, Cairns, a part of the national network of ABC television. Covering Australia through its capital cities and key centres, this is National Television, ABC. Around Australia, you're in tune with the national network, ABC Television. This is ABC Television, the good-looking Australian. This is ABC Television, the good-looking Australian. ABC.
time for us to say goodnight from ABC Television, from all of us, that is, each and every little one of us. Tomorrow night at 25 to 9, top comedy on ABC Television with Don't Wait Up. Let me explain briefly for you what we expect to happen. Well, you see, Toby has moved into Tom's flat and is not proving the easiest of guests. Well, when Toby goes out for the evening, Tom invites his mother round and offers her Toby's bed as she has had a bit too much to drink. Fair enough. Toby also returns with a guest for the night. Not so fair enough. The embarrassing situation is not discovered until the following morning. And you'll have to wait till tomorrow night at 25 to 9 to discover what they discover. Once again, good night. Hello, I'm Clive Hale. Here to let you know that the collector's show for love or money will be back with a brand new series in 1988. Meantime, have a very, very merry Christmas and a great new year. And of course, happy collecting. Hello, I'm Geoffrey Birchfield. And I'm Karina Kelly. And from all of us here at Quantum, have a very Merry Christmas. And we'll see you next year. Oh, Geoffrey. Karina, did you know that no two snowflakes are exactly the same? Yes, look. Yes,
We wish to advise that tonight's episode of Unnatural Pursuits is rated M for mature audiences and contains some sexual scenes and sexual references.
morning. The ABC, here for Australians. Good afternoon and welcome to the Country Hour. I'm Georgia Bateman. Informing and entertaining regional Australia. We did a trip across to Adelaide about two years ago and we went through a red market in Algeria and there was rappers everywhere. Here for a regional Australia. Australia.
Looking Australian, ABC Television. Collectors, I mean, going out around the world or around the country, it's the contacts that you make, it's the friends. There's all sorts of communities and networks out there. That the only thing that people have in common, they could be the heads of major corporations or they could be a grandmother or grandfather who's just out for the weekend doing garage sailing. But if you all collect the same sort of glassware or the same football cards, you have that in common. So you can walk into a room full of people that you would never, ever meet in real life. The kids are the ones that are going to find out what the world's made of. They're the ones. The baby popped out looking just like Dad, just like they always do. Mum passed her to him. Skin on skin does amazing things. I've seen it regulate a baby's faltering heartbeat. This time it was his face, the Dad's, lit from within. Can we do it again, he said. And you know, he was only half joking. The I'm sick of seeing the director's cut of movies. Just once, I'd like to see the accountant's cut. You know, maybe of the Titanic. Just a guy in a room with a phone. The phone rings, he picks it up, he says, an iceberg? My God, that's terrible. Then he hangs up and the credits roll. Now that I would go to see. Australia is unique. 85% of our marine life here, you can't see it anywhere else in the world. After 20 years of diving, I'm still moved by it. If there's one thing I prize in people, it's exuberance. Now, exuberance is not wide-eyed enthusiasm for everything. 
it's not an undiscriminating excitement. It's exuberance about being alive and being alive at this time in the world. I suppose I think that I'd like that to infuse all our programs at the ABC. Riot police. The heat was in Cairo. Cairo. It's the president. Everything but the house. Hey, Destructive hey. winds. Thousands of people. ABC News. ABC News.
love where I live. I love being part of this little community. I love walking my kids to school in the morning because that's the time when I get to say hi to the shopkeepers, I say hi to my neighbours, get to find out what's going on. The thing that makes me most proud to be Australian is the opportunities that exist here in Australia. I always think back to the things that I wouldn't have been able to do growing up where I was born. The opportunities that exist in Australia are the things that migrants really get. And when you're presented with those sorts of opportunities, you remember to make the most of them. Of course I will be called racist, but if I can invite who I want into my home, then I should have the right to have a say in who comes into my country. <laughs> Thank you.